I got hair in my face. I got hair in my face. Can you get it out my face? Oh, my hair is looking gross today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen any of these videos, what I do is weekly go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and decide whether I think I'm going to add them to my wishlist, or whether I think they are a total washout. So before we jump into the video proper, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and you can't wait to see all the new beauty releases along with me. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Let's start with Besame Cosmetics. Looks like they're coming out with a whole new line of um like Avengers Infinity War makeup. So it looks like that there are a bunch of eyeshadows like each one is supposed to be an infinity stone and then there are some lip glosses. I mean the packaging looks stunning and it looks beautiful but I don't think I mean other than like displaying this when are you really going to use all of that like I love color but for me personally when it comes to like single eyeshadows I know I don't reach for them especially if they're like in packaging I barely reach for like my singles in my Z palettes and those are like really easy for me to use and I don't reach for them as often as I should so I know if I had a bunch of other singles in packaging I wouldn't reach for them and the lip glosses they just look okay um i have no idea how besame's lip glosses are i don't know what their formula is gonna be like so this one's probably just gonna be a hard pass for me so kylie just came out with like four new lip kits look like the shades are party girl la june bug and sprinkle they're eh, i mean they're okay um i don't feel the need to get any of those colors the same way i felt about ironic which is the shade that i'm wearing right now love this shade love this color living for the greens um but these shades it's like a peachy nude a really peach a purple and then like a deep kind of burgundy color nothing really like super out of the box so i'm also going to pass on these so a quick update i did pick up the color pop and makeup shayla palette the beautiful 16 pan palette that's the only thing that i picked up from the collection so whenever i do get that package i'll go ahead and do a video all about that palette do a couple of looks with it so don't forget to keep your eyes out for that so part of kat von d's 10th 10 year anniversary collection includes this metal crush highlighter it does look beautiful but it's definitely something that i'm gonna have to see in store I already know the eyeshadow palette no matter what i'm gonna buy it because it looks stunning and i've unfortunately i've missed out on every like kat von d limited edition palette so this one is i'm gonna get this one like this, it's mine so i'll definitely be getting the palette but the highlighter and the rest of the collection i'm gonna have to see um you know how they swatch how they look in store before i commit to getting those Another update, we finally saw the inside of the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy and what I thought were all highlighters are actually all going to be blushes and the rest of the collection is kind of like so-so for me but I am interested in those blushes so I'm not going to buy the whole kit again. I was a little bit burnt by their last release. Got the graphic. But I will be picking up those three blushes. I don't know if I'm going to get them online or if I can find them in store. I don't know if, like, I know our drugstores are really behind, but if I can pop into, like, a Target or a Walmart, maybe they'll have them. If I can't find them soon, I'll probably just order all of them online. So you remember how, like, I just said that I don't reach for single shadows? <laughs> like, at all? <laughs> oh, but they're so pretty! I don't need these. I really don't. I have so many singles. I just bought a bunch from ColourPop. I mean, they're stunning, and I haven't tried makeup geek before still oh i'm on the fence i am on the fence guys i don't know what to do makeup geek's a brand that i really wanted to try out nothing really appealed to me until these shadows came so i don't know i want them but i know i don't need them i'll have to get back to you guys on that <laughs> another kylie product that i kind of skipped over before is the bronze extended collection i guess it's like the summer collection they didn't even try like with a pop of color this time they were just like you're getting warm neutrals and you're gonna like it though this one does come with a brush so i mean it's a little different maybe but not different enough for me to run out and buy it doesn't look too exciting the swatches look beautiful of course but you know 
anyone can make us watch look pretty okay and the last thing i'm going to talk about today is from viziart they're coming out with the petite pro 3 and it's only exclusive to beautylish now these colors do look pretty like the swatch where it's kind of like a gradient effect that looks beautiful i don't know if I need it though but those greens those greens are calling to me if you can't tell I love green but again if I cover up the greens I mean it's a neutral palette with a purple $30 $30 and it's small and it's nothing I, I don't I can't get this like I can't it's it's a lot it's a lot so that's everything for this week's weekly wish list or washout not yeah, leaning more towards the washout side but you know what not every week was a good week because if it was we'd all be broke <laughs> So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope I'll see you in my next video.